Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be cleaning this mess of a kitchen. It is really bad. The oven is terrible. If you saw my um, review of the Bissell steamy thing, what was it, Bissell? I don't know, whatever that steam hot shot thing was, I don't know. I reviewed it. Uh, it couldn't get the oven clean. So I broke down and went out and bought some, you know, heavy duty oven cleaner. Easy off, heavy duty, full of chemicals. Um, so it says it's a three minute deep clean. So it says I must preheat the oven to 200. Oh my God. You're what? Yeah. Uh, it's in the chair, in the, under the bags in the chair. We're gonna preheat it to oven to 200. Once it's preheated, we're gonna turn it off, wear long rubber gloves, liberally spread newspaper under the oven door and surrounding area to protect the floor. Uh, for ease of application, remove oven racks and clean separately. So I'll, I guess I'll take them out. For now. Oh, why are you laying on the floor? Oh, I'm on the floor. Alright, so we're waiting for that to preheat. Uh, it's got a minute 40, and then I gotta spray this and let it sit for 9 to 12 minutes. Three to five minutes, so let's go with five. And then wipe with a clean, wipe clean with a wet cloth or sponge, rinsing frequently. For heavily soiled areas, allowed to work longer. So we might give it 10 minutes before we try. Uh, so while that's going, we're gonna go ahead and start cleaning the counters and everything else in here. So uh, I think we'll start right here with this counter. This is my dirty, nasty oven. So, you can see, it's pretty bad. And the door. All right, so I'm gonna put some rubber gloves on and then we'll spray the inside of that. What is that? A leaf? Don't ask me why there's a leaf in there. for 10 minutes and then we'll check on it. That's a fan going, so sorry if you can't hear me, but it's necessary. So we're gonna see how much of this we can get done in 10 minutes while we're waiting for that to sit. off as you can see. This is just my elephant who sits here to hold my phone when I'm looking at recipes. And then this is one of my kids' candy that they're eating currently. I'm just going to spray this down. Now onto this counter. 
All right, I got the spray in there. I've got timer set for 15 minutes. So we'll give it another go when that's done. But for now, I'm gonna wipe down this counter and then let's try and get started on these dishes. much better but it's still not 100% so I think I'm gonna wait till after dinner tonight but I don't I think I need the oven um, and I'll spray it after dinner and let it soak overnight and then wipe it down again in the morning see what that gets me And as far as the counters go, I uh, the dishwasher. I still didn't get to that counter, or that counter, or that counter. But I'm gonna take a break. We'll be back later. Well, I didn't realize what time it was when I said I was gonna take a break. So I did take a quick 20 minute break, but now it's time to make dinner. So I guess the rest of the kitchen is not getting cleaned today. I mean, I could say right now, and maybe I'll get to it later, but I think I would just be lying to myself and to you, and that's not cool. 
So yeah, maybe another day. Right now, I'm gonna make dinner. So tonight we are having chicken thighs, uh, roasted potatoes, and green beans. Hopefully the fresh green beans that I bought last week are still good. So I'm gonna grab those out of the fridge and see how they look. And then um, probably get the potatoes roasting and then start cooking the chicken because that'll be the fastest. It's chicken thighs, so they should cook pretty quickly. All right, so here's my green beans. They're not like great. Some of them are like kind of moldy on the end, but I'm just ripping that part off and not that one, I guess. Um, you know, waste not, want not, and all that. I mean, they're mostly good. I don't think it'll mold on the end. Right, anyway. I rip it off. That one looks gross inside. Let's see. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's like gross inside of it. And I don't think you can see it, so that's a no. But if they're just gross on the outside, then that's fine. I'm not sure how I'm going to cook these. I could saute them. I could steam them. I could um, roast them. I think I'm going to saute them because that's the best way. Steaming them would be the healthiest way. Green beans are all rinsed and ready to saute. I'm to do the chicken in here. I'll do the green beans in here. Right, here's the potatoes. These are all from my garden. I'm gonna give these a good rinse and then uh, cut them down so they're all the same size. Give them a little olive oil drizzle. Got 
garlic powder. Onion powder. So fresh thyme. This is some fancy organic brand. I don't normally buy organic or anything expensive, but um, it was the only thing that they had for size when I went shopping. I, like I said, I was going to get recipe with the mushrooms, but I forgot to buy the mushrooms, so I didn't really have it. Anyway, I should have just got breasts, whatever, or legs, legs are cheap. some of the fat off of these just so you don't have to chew all that fat. Mommy? Yes dear? I need to open the toys I need. No, your, your turn's up. Oh it is? Yeah. Alright, so I got those ones done. I'm going to put some oil in the pan. I'm going to wash my hands real quick. Just gonna add some garlic powder, and onion powder, and some thyme that's already off the sticks because it's easier. And salt. Yes, thank you. Put those in there. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna do the other side.
Ready? gonna pour some of this chicken broth into her. See the top's all the fat, so I just broke it so I could get the broth out. Ha! It's steaming. Get all the tasty bits off the bottom of the pan. The what? Go into the pan. Down there. Oh, yeah. Alright, I'm going to put all the chicken back in. One of the one No, the big one. It's stuck in there on the shelf. This. Done. Potatoes are almost done. All right, 
there it is, all done. Delicious chicken thighs and roast potatoes, gravy, ciabatta rolls, and green beans. Yum. All right, we're gonna dig in. So that's it for today. Thank you for coming to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Um, I don't know what I have planned for next time. Maybe cleaning my den, or the kids' rooms upstairs, or decorating for Christmas. 